It's been a while since me and my friends escaped Rod's factory, and now he's dead along with his mother. All that I can think of was Rod's death worth the trouble. I'm not sure how to feel about all of this. I mean, Rod was picked on for being overweight. Maybe he didn't deserve this tragic fate. What's this? A videotape of Rod's memories. I better call my friends so they can experience this long video with me. Hey Mike, it's Jay. I found this strange VHS tape that has Rod's memories in it. Oh hey Jay, why would you have a videotape of Rod's memories? I don't know. Call the others and come over to my house right away. So Jay, what's going on? Well, I found this VHS tape lying on the ground over there. And I don't know why it's here. Well, what are you waiting for? Play the tape. Okay then. I don't know how sad it'll be, but let's watch this video. It's a miracle! Miracle! <gasps> I'm sure. Well, uh, is he healthy? I, I don't understand. How is this possible? Oh, my God. Oh, look at him. No, it can't be. Is this true? How could this be? This baby seems to have been born. Uh, I don't understand. So oh, it's true. It is a miracle. A miracle. I don't remember it clearly. Mm -mm. This pink dress... It's the only thing I have left from that previous life. You are my beautiful baby. You are a beautiful girl, Elisa. Elisa. Hmm. I remember a lot of tall women dressed in black, a very large room, and, and all in pink. Who is my mother? Is it her, that beautiful woman, or is it something else? Uh, some kind of monster with, with ugly teeth and a pale face? <laughs> well, what is all this? What is my baby doing out there with the nuns? What? Those traitorous nuns are handing Elisa over to that itinerant ice cream man! And not content with that, they also give him part of my research as payment! As if my little poor Elisa wasn't enough! No! No! Wait a minute! This is crazy! An unforgivable sin! My... Baby is gone, and I can't leave school. I promised Baphomet. Ah! I have to be a good mother. 
An exemplary human being. Pray day and night to him. Not leave this school until others. Thirty-six years have passed. It's impossible! No! Coming up, he's going right for the mouth. Oh, oh no, Mini Rod, you gotta open up and say ah. <gasps> Father. Father, look, I I've already eaten most of my food. Very good, son. This is how you'll become a big and strong man. Yes. Yes, a big strong man like you, father. <laughs> With a good job and, and, and many friends, I will be a famous ice cream man too, and a genius as great as my father. The recipe for happiness is within everyone's reach. Isn't that so, father? <laughs> yes, son, it is like that. But that doesn't mean you don't have to work hard anyway. When am I going to be able to eat one of those ice cream? H have I worked enough already? No, Rod. You can never eat those special ice creams. You better get dressed quickly to go to school. I'll see you tomorrow. A little longer. Maybe. Yes, I, I recently tried some of my father's special ice cream, but it's only Why am I so different? I don't want to be like... <laughs> oh, why are you crying, little boy? You know why. <laughs> yes, it's true. You and I are the same. That's right. The case is, I see you sitting there so small, so helpless. Sometimes I forget that I was like that. Yes, you, you have to remember the, the insults and the beatings and all those dirty... Batty, Batty, two by four, couldn't do the engine door. Get out of that way, stupid lobby. Don't have a cow, cow. Get the bed and blood. Brody's mm -hmm. back. Shove it. Brody's back. 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 Brody's Be patient. Hmm? Dedicate yourself to, to work hard and, and save as much money as you can and get out of that school from hell. It's doing you no good, boy. Do not come down. Eventually, you will get ahead. I promise. I ask my father for help. No, he will not listen to you. He hides many secrets that you will have to discover later. You'll see. You will become an ice cream maker as good as him. Mark my word, son. You will discover how to take revenge on them all. <laughs> oh, an unexpected help will come to you. A letter from your mother in which she will finally tell you something important. So pay attention, kid. You're going to be just fine. You are buried under my feet. It was you who started the war. I don't regret what I did. And now who is knocking on the door? Good morning. I'm Sister Philippa, the abbess of this school's order. It's been a while since I got some news about this place, and as you may understand, I had no choice other than... Hmm? Ah! Listen to these words. Here you will stay. From this moment on, you will be my slave! Ah! 
Well, it seems I have no more room in here. Maybe I can fit just one more ironing board. Sister Madeline! Sister Madeline! <gasps> Philippa, I think the idea of doing laundry... Thank you. Thank you. I don't deserve so many compliments. <laughs> Kill him! 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 <laughs> Rod, do you live here? Rod, are you at home? You have to go back to her. You still don't understand, please. You have to come back. All this has an explanation, Rod. Rod! Well, in that case, I'll leave this to you. It has been written by your own mother. Congratulations, Rod, for your 16th birthday. Even though I can't come to you, you can visit me whenever you want. Don't resent me for not seeing you. If you knew why I can't go see you. Congratulations, Rod, for your 17th birthday. Please, come see me. I ask you. Congratulations, Rod, for your 18th birthday. Congratulations, Rod, for your 19th birthday. For your 20th birthday. 21st birthday. 22nd birthday. 23rd birthday. 24th birthday. Congratulations, Rod, for your 25th birthday. This will be the last time I write to you. It seems that nothing I say is enough for you to come back to me. Even so, I never stop dreaming of the day you and I meet again. We have so much to talk about. I want to hug you like when you were four years old and you were with me. Keep the book I give you as your most precious asset, for I will reveal a secret that only Joseph Sullivan knew. He stole it from me, but... Now I give it to you. Thanks to the fact that more time has passed, I have been able to improve the formula. You are my son, and you deserve it all. I will give you the opportunity to synthesize an extraordinary chemical compound with equal force to create a sparkling sun of life or a moon full of death. Warmly, your mother who will always be with you. Sister Madeline, S.M. Oh, hello. Don't you want to try my delicious ice cream? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't play with me! Give me the ice cream! Hi, Jay! Are you coming to play? The boys are in the secret lair. My brother has told me he has something to tell me. Well, it sure is silly. Well, you know what? Hey! You! Yes! You tell me, sweet little boy. Yes, you! I know you have Liz, and I want you to release her. Liz? I think you're confused, boy. <laughs> no, I know it's you. I saw her in the trunk of your dirty van. If you don't release it... I'm gonna fry your brain with this shotgun that I made myself. 
Do you really think I know who you're talking about, huh? I don't remember the names of all the children I captured, you idiot! Uh, stupid boy! You have the guts to face me, huh? But you're not fat enough to be useful to me, huh? Wait a second. There's an easy solution to that. Open up and say, ah! Perfect landing. <laughs> Done. Oh, very tasty ice cream. I don't know why you did this, but I'm gonna exterminate you. What's happening? Hello, chubby boy. Now you're chump and flubby just like I like it. <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, thank you. We've come home. All together. <laughs> we are a great team. Hi, kids. No. Did you think I'm dumb, huh? We are a great team. Please! <laughs> no! You're a... Look at them in their cage. I caught all the kids, the fat stupid kids. Now some ice cream will be made. <laughs> oh, going to sleep and get to bed. We're gonna sleep and jump for It's you? Me. We're going to sleep and get to bed. We're gonna make some ice cream fun. <laughs> well, 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 kids. You're all reunited again? <laughs> I'll leave you alone a moment so you can talk about your adventures. <laughs> but don't get too comfortable. No, no, no. Now that you're all beautiful and plump and chubby, soon you will enter my special room and I'll squeeze you to the last drop. <laughs> Oh, what an elusive boy. I hope he doesn't go too far. If something happens, my mini rods will let me know. <laughs> yes! It is so nice! <laughs> hey, what's going on in here, huh? Let's go. Get back here! No. I said get back here, you little bastard! <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Gosh, mister! These kids are driving me crazy! How could they run away again, huh? Well, these tubes don't take them very far. They're actually still inside my factory. <laughs> it's only a matter of time before I find them! <laughs> this door that door, they go down the pipes! Oh. Are a bunch 
Ninja Bat! Bat, chubby, brat! At the last moment, they always escape me! As long as they're still inside my bed! <gasps> Together at last. Get out of here, Mike. Listen, Liz. In case we don't get out of here, there's something I want you to know. Of course we're gonna escape from here. We'll talk right now, but first, let's go to the boys. <laughs> um, I, I don't want to say it in front of everyone. Uh... <laughs> I'm so glad you're both well. What are you doing here, huh? No, oh, don't burn away, chubby kid! Come back here! I don't know how, but Rock found me and followed me here. Oh, chubby kids, get out of there now! Charlie, where were you? You should have come back as soon as you handed over the key card. That doesn't matter now. We have to stop Rod from getting in. By the way, how nice that we're all together at last. Oh, chubby kids, get out of there now! Oh, chubby kids, get out of there now! Oh! Guys, what are we doing <laughs> holding the door? If we don't do something soon, the crazy ice cream man is gonna break the door down get any minute. Out, chubby kids. Oh. Mike, Charlie, I think I found a way out. Come this way, quick. Jay, where are you going? The ladies go first. <laughs> well, well, well. I finally have you all. <laughs> huh? No! Damn, chubby kids! They escaped again! Oh! Oh, I can't take it anymore! This will be the last time they run away! Since I kidnapped them and locked them in my factory, they haven't stopped giving me problems! Oh! Oh, I no longer want to use them as, as, as ingredients in my, my special ice cream. This has become personal. Oh, I wasn't planning on resorting to this, but party's over, bastards. <laughs> <laughs> My son's factory. It looks very magnificent from up close. At last, I'll be able to hug him and. Who's there? A fat, ugly creature like you can't be my baby, so I'll smash you with my hammer! <laughs> huh? Uh, what is going on? Possible. They have managed to, 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 to deactivate the security system. Well, at least the rest of the chubby kids are, are still under control in, in, the, in the extraction room. Huh? The, 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 the door to the extraction room has opened. It must have occurred when the security system was deactivated. Oh. Well, maybe I should pay this place a visit and close that door before the room gets distempered. And my chubby kid pantry is spoiled. <laughs> that noise! <gasps> what? No! 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 Oh, those hateful kids again! Why do they always destroy my plans? Oh! They just want to stay still and let them, let them be the ingredients of my fantastic ice cream. Damn fat kids! You're the same as my old stupid. <laughs> 
classmates and my mother who abandoned me. <sighs> oh, I lack, I lack the air to breathe. <sighs> How come I can't catch my breath? <sighs> Alisa, Baphomet, a crazy nun? I, I, I don't understand. Is it a memory? Oh, I just need to clear my head a little. I need to put things in order and, and eliminate those children. Oh, I have the ideal weapon for them. Rod, we finally have you surrounded. This time, we are gonna hunt you down. No, oh, stupid children. Have you not realized where you are, huh? Oh, I am so sick of you. I'm going to break you into a thousand little pieces with this little freeze gun here. <laughs> ah! No, Liz, no! <laughs> Filthy children, you won't make me think about my past again. Uh-uh. If I destroy you, everything that happens in my head will disappear forever. Like my frosty breath in winter. It will vanish. No! No! Oh, oh, oh. oh, come on! Thinking about tough times in the past. Kids at school were mean about my weight. None of them are still breathing. And my dad, who was my main family, was guilty for my fatness because he had the secret recipe to make poison ice cream too. And he was too, he was too carefree. I don't understand. Did, did he move me from that convent because of that recipe? It's sad because he never really loved me. As a parent, he, he, he seemed more interested in being famous and rich. And my mom, the only one who actually cared about me, was a crazy nun who, who treated me like a girl. Is she still alive? Did, did she kill my dad for revenge? And if my real dad wasn't Joseph, was he that evil lord named Baphomet? Yeah, whatever I try to do, I can't undo the mistakes of the past. Life feels meaningless. My revenge. In my dreams, like ice cream on a summer night, or melting away. We both know quite well, worldly matters are handled with care. With care. But, but, shall we embark, Brother Nazareth, and take on the dare? Sister, it's been a while since our talk began. Can't say your real name. You still hidden in the shape of a magical cup. What's your suggestion? 
What's your plan? Rod, the human creature you brought to life inside Sister Madeline is showing true repentance. Don't you think he deserves one more chance? I can't do anything. That intellectual animal has made too many mistakes. From the moment he was born, he had a special fate. I protected him from her mother with my rules. But she confused Nazrat with Baphomet. Can she be more fooled? Let life itself be their teacher. See you soon, my dear sister. can hug you again. I am very sorry for everything that happened. Please forgive me. I love you. You are my mother? Yes, <gasps> it's me. <gasps> Finally, I recognize you as my son, a grown man. I hope we get to know each other in the afterlife. <laughs> 